though uh, you placed 12th and 13th, right, after each other, just a point, um, it was so close, um, just seven and eight points short from qualifying, but um, uh, do you still believe that uh, artists that maybe don't um, shine or gain success from the or some kind of still the competition uh, would go with a strong music career, like for instance Olivia Newton-John, uh, didn't win the contest for your but Well, hello! There are 30, 39 countries and the only one is a winner, you know, like a winner. But there are more of them uh, in their countries. Everyone is like a winner of Eurovision. I, Thea win Eurovision in Malta. Oh, I did yeah. it in Poland and other countries did it in some other countries. Uh, so it's like everyone is like a winner here. Um, we started like a bit new life, you know, everything's changed after Eurovision. We record lots of songs, we have possibility to go to other countries to visit them. They are inviting us for some concerts, for lots of, you know, project things. Like, very good, which is very good. Uh, so everyone is like a winner here. Uh, there are no losers. If you are a loser, it means that you didn't, you know, uh, work so much after after Eurovision because Eurovision is just like a step. It's not like a whole life. It's just a step in your in your life. It's just like like one step. You've got billions of steps in your life. And this is just one. You can imagine that. So you have to work very hard after to stay, you know, on the top again. I think the mistake would be that Eurovision is the only step. Yeah, of yeah. course. We, for an artist, it's it is not, not, not the, you know, the only step. There are lots of artists, so of course, they think it's like it's the end of the, of the, of the life that you didn't win Eurovision or didn't pass into the finals. But <laughs> it is not, actually. It is. So, yeah, did you expect? After the original song, I'm also going to work with, with other artists. With him? No. Uh, I thought he'd forget my name and everything. <gasps> How dare you? Me? How dare yeah. you? I didn't bring you a snob, right? Am I a snob? No. <gasps> Goodbye. <I didn't>. <laughs> no. Sit down, you. <sighs> so, um, um, I didn't expect. No, seriously, I didn't expect, like, from all the countries there were, there were in Eurovision, people actually sick. Well, <clears throat> I did it as well because um, Poland gave no points to Malta, Malta gave no points to <laughs> Poland. Um, so, you know, Eurovision had lots of as well political things, and Poland is so far away from Malta, so I, I wanted to make it, you know, to be closer. Uh, with the collaboration to make people in Poland talk about Malta more and uh, in Malta talk about more about Poland because you know we don't have any connections like more connections so it's good to have some you know something like oh yeah yeah from Poland there's a guy uh, singing with Maltese girl yes oh yes in Malta we have a singer who was singing with a Polish guy so next year you see who is the next Polish singer and who is the next Maltese singer and if they are going to work together or not and then when you see more of the songs you want to check it you hear it more than once you're like you know everything is a promotion before like germany they had such a big promotion they had such such a lot of money for promotion so lots of people knew the song before so they were voting for that so if you know the song very well you are voting for that song because you like it you hear it you it's very familiar and, and very nice people. i'm curious um, what can you tell us about the music theater industry in Poland? Music, sorry? Uh, theater industry. Ah, musical theater in, in Poland. The one you, you, you work in? Yeah, I, I do work in musical theater. We've just finished the Phantom of the Opera. And now we have rehearsals for Les Miserables. I also did some uh, musical called Boy Band, uh, where I was playing uh, Sean, a guy who was the um, main leader in a boy band. Um, I did also some Polish ones, and uh, well, I love it. I love it so much. Uh, is it popular in Poland? It is not that popular, like in the UK or, for example, New York. You know, 
Broadway and West End, they are like capitals mm. of musical. And in Poland, it's still not that common to do musicals. Um, but I love my, my job, I love it so much. I just couldn't wait after Oslo to go on the stage and play Raoul de Chani in The Phantom of the Opera. When I did it for the first time, it was like, oh my god, it's so good to be again on the stage, like every day, 1,000 people watching you. It's something very else than, than singing on the stage, just like in a normal way, doing theatre. Uh, you feel the energy from, from the audience and you take it to, to give them back that what you have, your voice, some acting and emotions. So, um, uh, Tega, I think um, you are the, although you're in this collaboration, but um, you said that everything was with Jason Massar, who is writing this, this song mm -hmm. with, with, uh, with uh, Tamar song. Um, can you tell us um, how the process works? Oh yeah, it was a bit quick. I mean, we decided before he came, we said uh, he told me that he would like to record something original. It's obviously something I wanted to do. So, um, so I just spoke to Jason. He agreed with me on this plan. He started writing the music. He gave the music to Sunny to write the words. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a long process, but the result is ready. <laughs> would you consider to return to the contest? Oh, no, no. To, to go again, you know, it's like now we are right enough of this, no. now we are enough of this, but who knows what will happen, you know, say. like in two or three years maybe we decide years, to, please. No, come on. <laughs> two or three years, you know, life is too short to wait 20 years, <laughs> so we don't know, we don't know, maybe one day, why not? We had a Maybe good experience. We'll start being like one country, Malta and Poland. Like <laughs> Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, everything. everything since is the flag is, is, since the yeah, flag is very. Yeah, the flag is, yeah, and the flag is very small. Everything is money, so you need to have a lot of money to, to go to Eurovision, to do everything, to do the promo stuff in all Europe. Because it just doesn't work like when you don't have any, any promotion before. Um, so when we have enough money to do that, maybe we will try again. Thanks a lot. Thank and, you very uh, much. Enjoy your cinema. I and do, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, in this uh, collaboration and uh, also in Jersey. Thank you very much. <laughs>